the time comes when we shall redeem our pledge, not wholly on full measure, but very substantially. At the stroke of the midnight hour, when the world sleeps, India will awake to life and to freedom. A moment comes, which comes but rarely in history, when we step out of the old to the new, when an age ends, and when the soul of a nation, long suppressed, finds utterance. At this solemn moment, we take the pledge of dedication to the service of India and her people. We end today a period of ill fortune, and India discovers herself again. The achievement we celebrate today is but a step, an opening of opportunity to the greater triumphs and achievements that await us. But are we brave enough and wise enough to grasp this opportunity and accept the challenge of the future? Freedom and power brings responsibility, and responsibility rests upon this assembly, a sovereign body representing the sovereign people of India. Before the birth of freedom, we have endured the pains of all the labors, and our hearts are heavy with the memories of these sorrows. However, the past is over, and the future is what beckons to us now. The service of India means the service of the millions of people who suffer. It means the ending of poverty, disease, ignorance, and inequality of opportunity. The ambition of the greatest man of our generation was to wipe every tear from every eye. And so we have to work and work hard to give reality to our dreams. And those dreams are not only for India, but they are for the whole world, for all the nations. To the people of India, whose representatives we are, we make an appeal for you to join us on this great adventure. There's no time for petty or destructive criticism, no time for ill will and blaming others. We have to build the noble mansion of free India where all her children may dwell. At this fateful moment, our first thoughts must come to the architect behind this freedom, the father of our nation, who, embodying the old spirit of India, held the love the torch of freedom and lit the darkness that surrounded us. Our second thoughts must go to the unknown volunteers and soldiers who, without any praise or reward, have served India even unto death. We have hard work ahead, and we will not rest until we redeem our pledge in full, until we make India what destiny intended her to be. We are citizens of a great country, on the verge of bold advance, and we have to live up to that high standard. To whatever religion we may belong, we are equally the children of India, with equal rights, privileges, and obligations. To all the other people, of all the other nations. We pledge ourselves to cooperate in furthering peace, freedom, and democracy. And to India, our much-loved motherland, the ancient, the eternal, the ever-new, we pay our reverent homage, and we bind ourselves afresh to her service. Jai Hind.